Alright guys, I want to show you how to uh, test a throttle position sensor on pretty much any GM. <clears throat> so, uh, and probably Fords and whatnot too, if they use this three wire setup, it'll be pretty much the same. Um, so what you gotta do is take this little rubber grommet piece out, just kind of pry it back out of here and kind of set it to the side here and <clears throat> so you can probe your you can back probe your wires here and you want to make sure you do not short this and this the blue and the, the black do not short those you could fry your computer and you'd have to get a new computer but this test uh, tests pretty much the computer given this five volts and uh, it also tests the throttle position sensor and for good ground. So, so first, you want to probe the blue one while your key is on, not not running. So, I'm just gonna kind of lay that there. I'm probably not gonna get a really good accurate reading just by laying it there, but I don't have three hands, so. And then you want to take your throttle or get somebody in your car and uh, move the gas pedal very slowly. And what you want to see is a steady increase all the way up to about almost 5 volts. Okay, about 4.5 usually. And then slowly come back down. And what you're looking for is, uh, like, when it goes up to maybe, like, one volt, it'll, like, jump down or something and then way back up. You don't want to see that while you're steady going up. You want to see just a steady increase. And I also got my um, thing on ground. So, to test for the 5 volts coming out of here, what you want to do is take your pin out and you want to probe the yellow one or the beige one or whatever color that may be probe that one um, battery terminal ground and then well what's going on here uh oh are we in the wrong one or something Shouldn't be. Let's try that. What in the world? We're having technical difficulties. Oh, there it goes. I didn't have a good ground. There we go. <clears throat> so there's your 5 volts reference signal. You're supposed to... supposed to be on that yellow wire there as your 5 volts. So... <clears throat> that's testing pretty much the computer is regulating this 12 volts into only 5 volts and it's shooting it over here to the sensor. So your, your wiring is good from point A to point B. Pretty much that's what that tells you. And then to check for a good ground, you want to probe the bottom one and then set it for continuity. Wow, I ain't getting good ground over here again. It would be easier with two people, but 
Either that or with some alligator clips. Yeah, it still ain't working. Either that or I could have a bad ground. <clears throat> oh, there it goes. Still ain't too good of a ground. Hmm. I may have a ground issue, maybe. Just kind of reading a little bit of resistance, but not too much. So, that's pretty much how you check a throttle position sensor, and then when you're done, just pull that out. Shove this little piece back in there. <coughs> so, there you go. Oh, and also, uh, to check your signal wire that comes out of here and tells the computer um, to check that wire you would have to look up a wiring diagram then come over to your computer and then probe that one to see if that wire from point A to point B is, is working good so do that or you can get a scan tool and, and then uh, do what I just did here and, and then read it and then that would tell you directly from the computer that the wire is good from here to there. So, kind of confusing a little bit, but yeah. So there you have it. Yeah, um, I forgot to mention that uh, when you're checking the ground part of that um, connector, make sure you have your key off. Uh, that's why I was getting the uh, mixed reading. So. That's how you check the ground part of that connector is you have to have your key off and then go from battery ground, either that or on engine ground, it doesn't matter, and then uh, test that one wire in that connector for ground and that's for continuity anyway and that's how you would check it. So, yeah, my mistake. <laughs>